Hi there. I just wanted to give a quick introduction to this vlog. There is absolutely zero crafting in this vlog. <laughs> um, I've been away for a week at my mum's with Jim the dog and the children. So this is just a little record of our family holiday. Um, more for Dave and I, for posterity, but I thought you guys might enjoy watching along as well. It is all filmed on my camera out and about on my phone, so my apologies if you get a bit motion sick, and there is quite a bit of wind noise on there. And as I mentioned, because it's sort of a family diary rather than a podcast episode, um, it is a bit choppy, it's not terribly professionally done, um, so don't have any great expectations of what's coming up. But I hope you'll enjoy what you see, you get to um, have a glimpse of where I'm from in the Midlands and a um, bit of a peek at my kids. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. So here we are in the very beginnings of the Welcome Hills, which is a set of hills not far at all from where my mum lives. There's Max, he's been adventuring. Jim? Jim is mostly smelling things. There's Jocelyn, an eldest spawn. <laughs> and it's lovely. It is a bit hilly, but then that goes with hills. And sometimes there's cows. And it's fantastic for picking blackberries if you get the right time of year. The blackberries are very sweet actually sometimes. Oh, they can be really sour. Oh, it's like sour. Russian roulette with fruit. Yeah. And I came for a run up here the day before yesterday and it nearly killed me. Came back sweaty. So we're just taking the dog and the children for a quick run before we head out to Kenilworth Castle. Then we're going to go swimming as well on Wednesday. Here's a bit more of the hills. This is Max's favourite hill for rolling down. And up there you can see the obelisk, yeah. which is a good walking point. And it's really lovely. I think it's wild farmland. Hey Jim, you having fun? <laughs> he wants me to throw the ball. Now there's a lovely view through the trees. And you can see for absolutely miles and miles and miles. And there is the lesser spotted Maximus Carticus climbing up the hill. Yes. Yes. Maximus, Maximus, what's going on? Maximus, Maximus. Yes. Done some exploring. Dancing. Dancing, dancing. Ooh. Raven public. <laughs> and there is the obelisk again. It's a good point to walk to. Yeah. And you can see the clouds. So we are right at the top now by the obelisk. There's the base of it. It's so sunny I can't see a thing on my camera so I just hope that this is in focus. And look how far you can see. And those orange brick buildings down there is a super fancy hotel called the Welcome Hotel and Spa. And we had a Carter family to get together one year. There's Jim, he's absolutely shot his bolt. So much chasing tennis balls up hills. And you can see for miles. And you can walk all the way down as far as Tiddington, I think. You can see the National Farmers Union building. And you can see how agricultural it is. So yes, this is all the surrounds of Warwickshire around Stratford. to show you the canal that's at the bottom of the road where my mum lives. Right down the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, that is the back of Shakespeare's birthplace. And if we head off down the canal, this takes us all the way through to Bancroft Gardens, which is the big gardens by the theatre, where the Royal Shakespeare Theatre is. That's my mum and Jocelyn. And the boys are a bit further ahead. Oh, there's Jim the dog. 
just making sure I'm coming. I hope you're not feeling too poorly with my shaky photography. And this is just a quick walk into the town. You know, these lovely houses along the side edge. And there's often ducks to feed and swans and geese. And maybe one day, Ivory Tinkler will boat her way up this canal. I don't actually know what the name of this canal is. It's just the canal by my mum's house. Here's the lock gates. Jim? Jim? No, no, no. Let her off and she'll be as active as a sandboy. Jim was nearly savaged to death by Jack Russell, <laughs> but we managed it. Jim? Go on. You'll be fine. You're not going to be able to get him back up. I better stop now before either one of my children or the dog hurls himself into a lock. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Hiya, everyone. <laughs> that was Conrad. Oh my god, you mean that? Wow. This is really not This is the last little bit. The last little bridge. There's Conrad. Jim the dog. And you come out of the last tunnel, and this is the Bancroft Basin. So that's where all the moorings are. And it looks like they've got a fair going on over there. And they often have lots of market stalls and craft fairs. And this stretch of road here is called Waterside. And that big brick building is the Royal Shakespeare Theatre at the back. And I can show you a bit more around there in just a minute. Show them the... Oh look, there's Max. Say hello, Max. Hello. There's always loads of ducks to feed here. Statues. I can't remember which of Shakespeare's characters that is. This is a beautiful fountain that they've had a couple of years now. And one winter, when it got seriously cold, it froze while it was still running. And it had sheets of ice falling into the basin into the main pond. And there's a better shot of the Royal Shakespeare Company's theatre. And that big tower is a viewing tower, and you can go all the way up to the top and look over the all over the town. And this big area in front is Bancroft Gardens. And when I was little, they used to have an annual country dance, and a band called the Cat's Whiskers would come and set up, and they'd call all the dance moves, and everybody would do the Gay Gordons or Strip the Willow, and there would be hundreds of people in a massive massive barn dance and it was so much fun. I don't know if you can see the boats in the distance. If you can see that black and white building in the distance, the railings, that's the boat club and that's where Dave and I had our wedding reception. And it's summer, so they have all sorts of exciting events going along down here. I seem to have lost my family now. I should probably go and find them. I'm afraid this is going to be a rather disjointed vlog. It's more for my family's records than for you guys, but I thought you might still be interested. Can you see the swans? I have to excuse the drums in the background, there's a Roman games going on. But you can hire rowboats. 
And there in the distance is the bridge built by Sir Thomas Jolliffe in the 15th century. And it's still standing. And just there is what we used to call Duck Island. And I don't think they do it anymore, but once a year they used to have a boat race. And everyone would build these most appalling rafts and desperately try and be the first to reach the island. And everybody ended up in the drink absolutely sodden. And let me zoom back out again. There's the rowing club. And when Dave and I got married, we put a great big marquee up where all those boats are just under the trees by there. That's where we had our marquee. And over the other side, there's more beautiful gardens and there's a butterfly farm and hotels. And they have a bandstand as well. It really is a lovely place to grow up. Lots of tourists. Lots of things to do. It's a shame it's so windy out here. The noise isn't too bad. And so that's the RSC again. And you see the path that just goes up there. That goes all the way along the mirror. Along, along the mirror, along the river. You do, of course, get the odd hooligan. Here's two of my hooligans. Yeah. What's your name and where do you come from? I, I am Glutimus Maximus. I come from Rome. Glutimus Maximus from Rome. Goodness me. And what about that one? Conrad Carticus. All the way from Wales. I don't know what Wales is in Latin. And there's Jim the dog. Here's the other side of the Bancroft Gardens. It's the bandstand. You can just about see the riverside of the theatre. Right there. Just behind that hedge is where we had our wedding reception. And there's the boat club. The rowing club rather. And they've got this rather marvellous ferris wheel going. I haven't seen that before. And my dad and Jocelyn and Conrad are in one of these cubby things. I think it's a viewing ferris wheel rather than a fairground ferris wheel. So maybe they're going to be stuck at the top for ages and have to admire the view. Max didn't fancy it. And I feel sick, so I wasn't going to go on it either. And if it keeps going round, it's going to be a rather boring section of the video. <laughs> they must be right at the very top. There's Max and Jim, look. You know, Jim the dog, waiting for his people to come back. He was pulling me like crazy. He hates it when we all go in different directions. So I just left him with Max on a lamppost. Oh, they're moving again. See if we can spot them. We'll probably be able to hear Jocelyn before we can see her. Oh, there they are, they're right over there. That carriage there. You can see my dad in a hat. That's them. <laughs> it's rather beautiful, I have to say. Right up there now. We've come to Kenilworth Castle for a fun day. And that gorgeous block of buildings there is the stables, believe it or not. And I'll take you a bit further up. The main ruins are behind those trees there. That's the entranceway. And here is Max. They're doing sort of a kids' archaeology event. And Max is having a go with a metal detector. 
and you push it around and around and it feeds into a little iPad and then it'll show you what he's found. And then there are children with geophys trolleys trying to locate various things. And Max wanted me to record him doing his metal detectoring. And there's a nice cream van up there as well. And we've just listened to a rather fantastic talk on how to besiege a castle by some reenactors. There's Comrade and Joss. They're at that tricky age where a lot of the activities are for littler children and they're not quite grown up enough to just enjoy having a wander and reading all the information signs. But how's that for a stable block? Seriously fancy. You finished your metal detecting. What did you find? I found the padlock, buttons, screws. Uh, this weird thing that has like 25 letters in. And what did the chap say? Did he say how well you've done? Um, I, he said that I did the most, I got the most things in the whole entire um, metal detector thing. Oh, cool. So you were the top of the pops? Yeah. Excellent. This is the inside of the stable block and at this end they have a little exhibition that takes you through the history of Kenilworth Castle. And they've got these beautiful models. So this is where we are today. And if I, there's some more trebuchet stones. And if I track you up to the very top of the ceiling, you can see the beautiful building work that they've done and this is just for their horses isn't that crazy and then right down at the far end is the cafe where we had a nice cup of tea and a sticky bun which is half the fun so yeah not a bad place just to keep your horses i'm right at the top now and you can see the beautiful views including my smallest boy yay and then those are the Elizabethan gardens, which were established to impress Elizabeth I by Robert Dudley, who was desperate to marry her. And if I pan around just a little bit, you can see Grandma and Conrad. And there's the Great Hall. Now, if I were Dan Jones of the Bakery Bears, I would be able to tell you such fascinating things about Kenilworth Castle. But all I can really do show you the pictures. That bit down there is the kitchen. Look at the size of it. They must have had to feed thousands. So we're enjoying a good run around the castle. Right. A little sign says this is the Keep 4 building. Max wanted me to come and explore this bit with him. I thought I'd try and take you with me without tripping over anything. You can see back down into the kitchens there. All of the arches. We're going to head up this staircase. You go ahead, Max. Open to the skies. In there is the bird's place. Oh, and here we are. We're in the Norman Keep. So this bit right in the middle. Goes back as far as the 12th century, this castle. But look at that. Enormous windows. All open to the sky. And if I took you slowly back around without making you feel too sick, back to the Elizabethan Gardens again. And then just beyond, you can see those old houses. And that is the oldest part of Kenilworth itself. Last but not least, I had to show you the last little bit of the castle, which is the gatehouse. 
that Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, built specially for Queen Elizabeth. And whilst it's very impressive, what I love is the little secret garden out the front. There's the main bit of the castle in the background. And it's just so sweet and so beautifully maintained. And look. Isn't that beautiful? I think now I need to go and find my children. They've all had enough. And Jim the dog has been left at home. So we are in Borton on the Water, which is a lovely little village in the Cotswolds in Gloucestershire, not far from where my mum lives. And the whole little village runs along a super shallow bit of river. And they have these little tiny footbridges. And we've just been to Birdland, which is quite good fun. And we're heading back into the main village so that we can find some lunch. And then the other big attraction is the, the model village. Did I just say that? I'm not sure. But it's a teeny tiny weeny model village built to the most tiny scale in gorgeous detail. And I remember coming as a child. But I haven't been for ages and I thought my kids might enjoy it. So it is quite touristy here. But you can see the gorgeous Cotswold stone that the buildings are all made out of. And the council are very keen on preserving it. You can see how busy it is. It's been either beautiful sunshine like this, or grey skies and thunderous rain. And Grandma swears blind, she saw somewhere that sold fish and chips. So that's what we're on the lookout for. Oh, but we found a nice tea room. So this is Borton on the Waters, a miniature model village. And all of these are built to a scale of one ninth, which apparently is the architect's standard. And they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's a little antique shop and tea room. Again, it's so sunny, I can't see my mobile phone screen. So I'm just going to have to hope that you can see what I'm doing. Oh look, there's Jocelyn. She's like Godzilla. And look at the size of it. I think they've done every building in the whole village. Oh, and here are the little footbridges that I showed you earlier. Oh, and I found Godzilla. <laughs> and the Titan, actually. I get to eat and you can see how carefully they've even done the shop displays. There's the Londis and the gift shop. I'm not sure if we can find the place where we had our lunch. Oh, look. Hartwell's eye. So having seen the model village, here is a little bit of the actual village and a close-up of my son. So handsome. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Oh, fish and chips. Oh, Max was aching to find a sweet shop, so I guess go and have a look. More sweet shops. Some sweets. So Max is having trouble deciding what to buy. And they've got some classic things here. 
Jaquin's throat and chest menthol, cherry menthol lozenges. Ooh, Sorry. army and navy. Ooh, blackberry and raspberries. Dandelion and burdock. Sherbet pips, barley twists, rhubarb and custards. I don't know how many of these. Max, what do you think you might want? Toffee stuff. Toffee stuff? Yeah. Ooh, coconut toasties. Milk chocolate toffees. Where are they? Blue. Is that what you fancy? Yeah. I know that last video did end rather abruptly. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, following along on our family week away. Um, and with a bit of luck, I will record a normal podcast episode this coming Friday. So you shouldn't have to wait another two weeks until you hear from me again. And at that point, I will fill you in on everything crafty that I have been up to um, in the last few weeks. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and um, click subscribe. And you can find me as always on Instagram and on Ravelry as Pins and Needles UK. I'll see you in a week.